Hello again, so I've made a couple of uh, videos showing how to model fidget spinners in SketchUp but uh, that is kind of overkill for a simple template for a, a fidget spinner so today I'm going to draw a very similar template just using a compass, a ruler and another spare pencil. This is very much old school. This really is my old school compass, you can see it says made in England. That's how old it is, I don't suppose they're made in England anymore. So to get started, we're just going to start by making a little mark somewhere in the centre of a piece of paper. Make a little cross. That's going to be the centre of our spinner. And the first dimension you need is 26 millimetres. So I'm going to set my compass to put the point on the beginning there. Move the pencil out to 26 millimetres. And draw a circle centred on that mark. This is going to set how far the outer bearings are from the centre of the spinner. Now the only real trick to this is to make a hexagon pattern from this circle. So the trick to doing that is very simple. Start by just making a mark anywhere on your circle. Let's start at the top. Now without changing the setting on your compass so still 26 millimetres, just work your way around, going from one mark to the next, and due to the geometry of uh, hexagons and equilateral triangles and such things, using the same radius will give you six exactly equally spaced marks around the circumference of that first circle or it should do. Let's see if this last one meets up. Dead on. Okay, excellent. So that's six equally spaced marks around the circle. So the next dimension we want is 11 millimeters. So this is going to this is to give the a circle the size of the standard 608 roller skate bearings that all these spinners are made with. So set 11 millimeters there. Put that somewhere where you can actually see it. So that's on 11 millimeters. And now I'm going to draw a full 11 millimeter circle around three of these marks that I've made. There's one, another one here. And another one here. And on the other three, I'm just going to draw a half a circle just kind of on the inner side of this, uh, the bigger circle that we've got here. You can probably start to see the spinner shape starting to emerge now. Nearly there. The last dimension you want to set on your compass is 15 millimeters. So again, start at the zero, move the pencil out to 15. And now starting from the first three circles that you drew, using those centers again, connect up these lines. And that's it. That's all there is to it. We need to draw one more uh, bearing in the middle. Should really have done that first time I had the compass set on 11 millimeters. But uh, let's just do that now for completion, completeness sake. And there we are. Simple fidget spinner template. 
So you can clearly you could vary the radius of this curve and make this slightly wider depending on what material you want to use. We've got uh, four millimeters extra here. The, this radius was 11 millimeters, and then 15 for the bigger circle. So that's four. You can easily make that uh, slightly bigger or smaller, depending on what material you're going to use to cut out your your uh, spinner. But uh, very easy to do. I think that'd be a good uh, little project for uh, a maths lesson or uh, just for fun if you want to make your own spinner. Obviously you don't have to do this on paper, you could do that directly onto a piece of wood or uh, acrylic or whatever else you're going to be using. And the great advantage of having uh, all these radiuses being 11 millimeters here is that when you come to cut this out, you can use the same 22 millimeter Forstner bit to cut the holes for the bearings, the four holes for the bearings and these inside radiuses. So you would mark each of these six points and the centre as a, a place to, to drill a hole, drill out all seven with uh, the 22mm force in a bit and then all you've got left in to do is to cut carefully round these uh, outer radiuses and uh, your spinner is done, these nice inside radiuses will be perfectly cut by the force of it without you having to do any, uh, probably not even any sanding afterwards. So I hope you found this video useful and uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy making your templates and your spinners and uh, feel free to click like and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of thing and uh, hopefully I'll put a video up of me making one of these myself pretty soon. Thanks for watching.